I manage the uh, radio pharmacy unit, which prepares injections that are radioactive for patients for scans. We do everything to do with the ECG, so the, the zigs and zags that you see on casualty. We actually read those and understand what it shows in accordance to what the heart is currently doing. One of the main tests we perform is an EEG test in which we put 20 wires up on the head to measure natural brain activity. A lot of people think that it's just a hearing test, but it's not. We counsel our patients, we make sure they leave here happier compared to when they've come in. It's mostly using ultrasound, so um, we assess how well flow is through veins and arteries. We work with patients with stroke, patients who are having dialysis, mapping out their veins and arteries. We've got ultrasound, you've got MRI machine, and you've got all these machines were very, very cool and I find them very interesting to work with. Um, what do you do? And I explain to them, like, oh, okay, so you make sure that image quality is perfect, you make sure there's low dose. We actually are a major portion of their diagnosis and we have quite an important role, but we are that silent role that nobody is actually aware of. There's so many different types of equipment in medical engineering. You don't think, oh, there's an engineer, or you look at that piece of equipment, you don't think, oh, how would they fix that? It's not like CSI. We can't just press a button and magic a result. It takes at least 48 hours for any specimens to be processed, and then there's a procedure of cutting, staining, and then reporting those results, which can take up to 14 days. It's not sat at machines and pressing buttons all the time. We do dissection and you need to be aware of the different tissue types you're working with and how they all behave. We're getting all of these from patients who are very much alive and we're working really hard with what we do to try and keep them that way. It's varied. Uh, you never know what you get on a day-to-day -day basis. So you could have um, uh, a series of uh, studio patients, but then you could get a phone call to say, right, we need you in theatres in five minutes and everything can change and you've just got to chop, change, move around and you know get called up to something really interesting. So. I'm very, very lucky in that my profession mixes both um, science and creativity to a vast degree. Um, it allows me to both discover something new, um, use my hands and treat someone at the same time. In this age of technology, we still do a lot of tasks by hand. Um, if I was to make you a prosthetic eye, I would be painting it by hand uh, with you, in front of you, checking the colours against you. The fact that you never know what you're going to walk into every day. Every day is completely different, every patient is completely different. You never know everything, there's always something more to learn. A doctor might be able to fix the human body, but it's not going to be able to fix a piece of equipment. It's nice to see the impact that we make on patients' lives. Even if I've had such a long day, it's been really stressful. I've helped someone now. Um, and I always remember that in the back of my head. Medical physics has been really rewarding so far, not just knowledge-wise, but as a personal achievement. The real positive thing to take home is when you see a patient improving and you've seen them through that whole journey and they get to the end of their treatment and say, you know, isn't this fantastic? Look at the difference. So it's really nice when you do things like discharge a patient who's been really friendly and you feel like you've had an impact on their life. It makes a difference to patients' health and it makes a massive difference to me because I've fixed it. It's very rewarding to see what you can do to help people in a day-to-day -day life, which is uh, probably the most impressive part of our job.